Here's a 10 minute glute and hip stretching routine that you're gonna follow along with me. Welcome to the Critical Bench channel. I'm Coach Brian here, one of the coaches. I'm a strength coach, functional movement specialist. And in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through literally a 10 minute follow along stretching routine specifically for the hips and the glutes. Now there's gonna be five exercises that you're gonna be see me going through, but both sides, right side and left side. One minute on the right side, one minute on the left side. You do the math, it equates to about 10 minutes. So you can, uh, obviously if you don't have 10 minutes, you've got five minutes, you're, you can still use these exercises, but just cut down the time. Uh, but really, the more you stretch, especially for hips and, and, and glutes, the better off you're gonna be. So let's get up to our knee. We're gonna go for that, Kneeling, I'm just, uh, I'm not texting, I'm on my phone getting the timer set up, as you can see. We'll put it up on the screen here. But I wanna have really uh, a focused uh, stretch right here. So a lot of our time is running, by the way, so get in this position and stretch with me. So we're stretching out our hip here, really focusing on taking some good deep breaths, getting some good clarity um, about what we're trying to do here. We're not thinking about the work that we just left or what we're going into next. We're thinking about in this moment right here, stretching. So I'm leaning into the stretch, focusing on my breath, getting deep into this particular hip stretch. And we're already 30 seconds in, and hopefully you're feeling like, all right, I can start going a little deeper into this. That's gonna be the name of this entire workout is just trying to sink deeper into each stretch. So good deep breaths, focus on good breath in, exhale, and just keep sinking deeper until time expires, and then we're gonna move to the other side. Five more seconds. Keep opening, keep going. All right, slowly back out. Let's go to the other side. Same thing, focus on your breath, focus on the stretch, don't focus on anything else around you. We hold a lot of tension in our hips, that the psoas, your hip flexor area is just constantly restricted and it's important to really, again, focus your efforts on stretching out this particular area of the body. This area of the body, your hip flexor region, is uh, again, just bound up way too, too tight, too much, and we have to incorporate in hip flexor stretches on a daily in order to get some relief in that area. So keep sinking deep into it. Let's go 20 more seconds. Yeah, it's starting to feel really good. And sometimes it might even take more than a minute for you to start feeling the muscle area to loosen up. Now don't force it, you just kind of go with it. And again, your breathing is gonna help you get through it. Let's get set for the 90-90 hip stretch. Whatever leg you wanna start with, that's fine. We'll get the other side here in just a moment. So timer's set for a minute. 90-90, 90, 90, 90 degrees in the back leg which is my left leg, 90 degrees in the, that right leg. So this one, I'm gonna kind of do a few things at once. You're gonna shift your hips forward, but you're also going to lean forward as well and just kind of navigate and test the waters a little bit, trying different positions. S some of you might, if you lean back, you might start feeling it a little more in this particular hip. If you start going this way, you might feel it more on the down leg. Kind of play around with this one and see where you need to hold it and then focus on your breathing. Ten more seconds, then we'll switch to the other side. All right, let's move into the next side. One minute. Again, set yourself up. 90 90 in both knees and just breathe relax in this sink into it test the waters try different areas of the stretch lean forward lean to the side tall spine again you're in control of this go to your level of comfort the whole idea is just to expose you to different positions where you're you're normally not in and then oh yeah see right there this particular position hurts for me right there, it feels good, it doesn't hurt necessarily, but it, it's definitely uncomfortable. Yeah, and once you start holding your breath, that's when the body starts tensing up. 
Again, keep saying that over and over in your head, breathe. And then your body, again, will naturally start loosening up. Two, one. Good, let's go to the pigeon stretch. This one, this one you gotta ease into for sure. So, as you can see, my leg is in front. And I'm gonna sink down into this. If you might need to start up from a high hand position right here. So what we're doing is stretching out the glutes on this one. Chest up tall. And over time, then you can maybe work your way down to the elbows. <sighs> Always breathing. Sinking deep into it. Now, if you're finding this way too challenging or it just starts getting progressively harder, then go back up to the hands and finish off the minute with this. It might even be helpful to have something propped up in front of you, some yoga blocks, a bench, just so you can prop yourself up a little higher. 10 seconds, we'll switch to the other side. Let's go to the other side. Get set for that. Spend another minute. Getting into this stretch, here we go. Now you might feel one side tighter than the other. That's normal. Just do what you can to sink deep into it and embrace the stretch. Yeah, almost there. Just keep moving around a little bit. Don't forget to breathe. Let's go 10 more seconds. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Oh yeah, that's a good one. So on the back we go. We're gonna reach through for a figure four. Set the timer. So this, cross one leg over, and then you're gonna reach through and pull that knee in, keeping the head and shoulders flat. So time has started. So settle into this. And gradually, once those glutes start loosening up, then you can pull that knee harder into the chest. Or you might be comfortable right where you started. So now your hands are tied up at the moment since you're in this stretch, but make sure you hit that subscribe button once we're done with our workout, just so you can just stay up to date with what we've gotten. Make sure to check out our other videos as well. We've got so many videos, not just stretching related, but strengthening. Uh, we talk nutrition, we talk, we have actual true workouts, muscle building workouts, things from women, things from men, you name it, we do it. Get that leg one last tug. Good. Switch sides. I know this is not the most exciting video, but Sometimes you just need somebody to stretch with you to get through it. I'm telling you, spend 10 minutes of stretching, especially the hips and the glutes. You're gonna feel a, a heck of a lot better after you finish this little stretch routine. Yeah, almost there. It's crazy to think that 10 minutes of stretching, it seems like it just, lasts forever, but it goes by so quick. It's a weird, weird thing. But if you're doing 10 minutes of like running or cardio work, you know, you're like, man, 10 minutes feels like forever and it, it takes forever. Good. All right, last stretch, seated knee hug. All right, we're almost done with this 10 minute routine right here. So sit up tall. You're gonna pull one knee into the chest, wrap your arms around it. 
tall spine. Don't round it, because rounding it, you just won't feel it in the glutes anymore. So sit up tall and just hold that knee and hug it in. Again, keep breathing. Yeah, almost there. Yeah, I'm kind of out of words at the moment because I'm really trying to enjoy this stretch. It's very relaxing. The second you start shutting everything out, else out, you can really start focusing on the stretch and get deep into it. Five seconds to go. All right, good. let's go to the other leg and then we're done. Now this would be a good routine to use after you work out. These stretches are way too long to use as a warm up. Uh, maybe use this routine right before you go to bed to kind of unravel from the day. Uh, I would use this if you're gonna be doing any type of exercise, yeah, like anything glute related, do this afterwards. You always wanna be warming up with dynamic exercise, muscle activation, things like that, where this is more of a cool down recovery type of routine. Probably should have told you that in the beginning of this video. We have other videos on how to warm up dynamically, but this is a good cool down routine to use. 15 more seconds. So pull in a little harder. Don't forget to breathe. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Hey, there you go. Thanks for watching and working out with me in this 10 minute glute and hip stretching routine. I know you're gonna find it extremely beneficial. Do it a few times. Use it every day if you have to. And I wanna share something with you. It's gonna expose the truth about stretching. Uh, it's actually, uh, it, it's gonna just change your way of thinking when you're talking about flexibility and stuff like that. It's a free book that I wrote and you can get it underneath this video. There's a link that's pinned at the top in the comment section. The book is called Why Stretching Won't Make You Flexible. So click that link, download that, and you're gonna be learning a whole lot on stretching. And also while you're down there, hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell. Other than that, maybe leave us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, question. That's it, have a great day. We'll see you next time.